know you've had and talked to a lot of other speakers earlier, so I know that you've probably heard about the Condé Nash's opinion of Newark being the worst place in the world. Now, <laughs> come on, really? The worst place in the world? Second to Islamabad? Pakistan, really? Now, I think that's rather interesting. Now, just last week, we just got the report from the FBI of the most dangerous cities. Now, Newark has been ranked 34th. That's an improvement from last year, which was 20. So I think what we need to see here is um, there's some trends that are looking in the right direction. Now, I'll be the first to admit that crime is something that we still all need to be aware of. But we're looking and going into the right direction. So how do we get these two things that are so different from each other? Well, listen. I'm from Newark, I work in Newark, I play in Newark, and this is my home. And I think when we all start thinking and talking that way, those things will start to go. We're talking about perceptions here, right? We're not really talking about reality. We're talking about perceptions. Now, it's all fair to say that perceptions are reality, but that doesn't make it true. So in Newark, we have opportunities to make that happen and make changes. Now, I want to talk to you today about brand and community. Now, when you think of brand, what do you normally think of? What comes to your mind? Possibly the swoosh from Nike. I wear Nike, so that comes to my mind. Or when I'm hungry, which I am a little bit now, maybe the ox from McDonald's, right? So logos have a certain image, and it creates some sort of feeling that you have that's intangible. So those are the things that we need to do here. What we still realize here is that North has a perception issue. There's a gap between the real world and what people perceive us to be. So my thinking is that change has to come at the community level. And so we come up with community branding. So community branding, what is community branding? Okay. Well, community branding is coming to the community, looking at its assets and its history, and kind of tying a truth to that, that intangible, that quality. That's community branding. That's what we're talking about. And so what I want to talk to you today for my couple of five minutes or so is to tell you what we've done here in our community. Now, before I do that, I want to bring up this issue of media. So when I looked at those perceptions, those two different things between how the stats are looking versus what people's perceptions of NERC are, it came to me that when the media describes NERC and its critical dangers or risks, it always takes Newark in its totality. It never talks about various neighborhoods. Like if you talk about violence in New York, it's always a neighborhood. So it's not everyone. But here in Newark, anytime a violent issue occurs, it's everywhere. And it's all of Newark. And that is a code, ladies and gentlemen. That is a code that the media is saying for everyone to stay out. Stay away. It's dangerous. That's the code. And I'm hoping today and going forward with the people that have been here and talked about all the great things that they've, they've said and done and do, that we can make and make that change. And we're trying to help make that change. And I think um, locally, Newark is here. They are a young, new, new site that is really trying to spread the positive words of things that happen in Newark. And there's other media sites that are doing the same. So let us talk about those neighborhoods that they never talk about. All right, so we have various neighbors. We have Roseville, we have Forest Hills. Here's Forest Hills. Beautiful, nice, long, big old homes. So if that is what you want, you can have that in Europe. So there's diversity housing. Clinton Hill. Woo! <laughs> you know, great architecture, great synagogues. There are great spots there. 
Lincoln Park. I know we've had people here from Lincoln Park. <laughs> so Lincoln Park is this new, hip, vibrant community that's starting to brand itself. And then we end with this community, um, Ironbound. Yeah. Now, interesting about Ironbound is that it has a professional organization that's designed specifically for branding. And so this is something that we all need to be looking at in terms of our, all our other communities, about brand, about community brand. And maybe take some examples from the Iron Belt. So with this, I want to tell you a working uh, movement and process and what we're doing in the James Street Historic District, of which you are in now. By the way, how many of you know or knew that you're in the James Street Historic District and the neighborhood? Okay, not a lot, maybe a third. Okay, well hopefully, since this is a work in progress, we are working to change that. Among its many assets, Newark's age is arguably its most important. Indeed, when one thinks of Newark's age, the James Street Commons Historic District readily comes to mind. Those who live in the Commons have been remarkable stewards of Newark's fledgling historic preservation movement. All Newarkers are indebted to those residents because the Commons is a complicated community that survived through the determination of its neighbors and the deepening mutual respect between those who live in the area and those who do not. The James Street Commons is Newark's most enriched civic space by virtue of a constellation of assets unique to the city. These include a tenaciously caring group of residents who look after their neighborhood and each other. The Commons complication is marked too by seemingly contradictory elements. It's quiet residential streets. The hustle and bustle of the downtown corridor. A 19th century hospital. No Newark neighborhood rivals the Commons' sheer abundance of things to see, savor, and protect. It is a Newark gem. Over time, much of what early 20th century Newark has relished most lost its meaning in the post-industrial age. Newark's retreat from its storied past was spectacular, taking its toll on many old neighborhoods, including the James Street Commons, and on the public sphere. But those who lived in the Commons, and those who value such places, were determined that it would survive, and it has. assets are here. We have the library, we have the museum, we actually have this building here. And what you start to see is this consistent element of a growing vibrant community of caring residents. And as we start to go through this journey of developing our brand, these are the attributes that we try to hope will be translated into that product. So let us say what we've done um, so far in creating that narrative brand. Every lot that was in this neighborhood has been converted to community gardens. Uh, if it wasn't a community garden, we turned it into a dog walk. And as a result, we've had people come to move into this neighborhood because we're dog friendly. For our seniors, we created a separate space for the seniors to go so that they can play cards and grow vegetables and have flowers at the same time. Also, we've actually distributed food coming out of our gardens. Here's a little example of the food that we produced this year. Now, when we talk about community brands, one thing has to come in mind, especially when you're talking about a community. We're not just talking about one entity. There's a multiple amount of assets to be branded. So we're talking about a collective group of branding that all have a common message when we're talking community. And so one of those strong assets that we have in this area is right across the street, which is Washington Park, one of my dear treasures. This is like the third oldest park in the country. Dates back to 1667, and it is a treasure trove of branding opportunities. So with that, we've taken that idea and said, well, what can we do with that brand? Now, 
Um, you see behind me is Seth Boyden as, a, as an innovator. I'm not sure. Have anyone seen the statue in the garden? In the park? Yes. Great, great. Well, you know, Seth Boyden is an innovator. And so having this learned institution right next to this park really starts to put the, the brand out there in terms of who and what we are. We are a community of history, but we also carry that innovation. Now, I'll ask you, did you know about film? Just a hundred feet from here, film was invented. Now, just carry that further. If film was never invented, Hollywood may not have even existed without the contribution of North. Something to think about, right? As opposed to it being the most unlike and just like the area. So one of the things that we started five years ago was the establishment of Washington Park Conservancy. And again, this is grassroots levels where we have volunteers, people coming out and planting. So everywhere that you see any entry into this park has been created by the community. Rose bushes in the front um, by the library, um, the sides going in by uh, Washington Place, by the museum. All of those things were initiated by the community. And we're looking for even to go further with a long-term capital improvement plan for the park. Make it a nine-month period of activity. We've seen what they've started with Military Park. The community is creating this environment here. And this year, we had a total of 70 people come out to do yoga in Washington Park. And it's grown. Farmer's Market. We are one of uh, five farmer's markets, the second one in the downtown. Um, we actually even created some new innovative things. Have you ever heard of plum apples? Well, plum apples were sold here in this farmer's market here at Washington Park. We created a graffiti team to go out and clean up areas of the park that have been blighted. And the important thing is we use students to do it so that they can tell their friends, hey, I worked at that park. Keep it clean. Now, some will tell you that you need businesses to do this. And clearly, we all want to partner since we are a collective group of uh, communities which have corporate, um, institutional, and cultural components to us. But the community, when we come to community brand, need to play a vital role in that. Another example of branding that we created was the uh, Knife in the Park, where we've created international films, where people can come out and see films that they haven't seen before. This is a great find for us, because the deal is if you can't travel, watch an international film. So we've been doing this for the last four years, bringing films here. And it's another great accomplishment to that, I might add, is that once you see people come in at nighttime and watch a film, and by the way, most of them are women, they start to realize that this park is not something to be, to be afraid of, but really to enjoy. And so we are encouraged for you all to come out next year for our fifth year of Movies in the Park. This is our second year of introducing food trucks. This year we've had over 15 food trucks come out to Washington Park. And in and of itself, it's now created a destination point for the park. October 3rd, we've had over 11 pe 1,100 people come and participate in the corporate 5K run. This is a 30-year tradition that begins and ends at this historic place. Halsey Village. Now I should have said this earlier, so excuse me. But the commons is consisted of three various uh, neighborhoods. We have the James Street Historic District, the James Street Road, um, on my block, it's a little bit more lively on James Street. We have Fraternity Road with the multicolored brownstones. And by the way, they were partying last night. 
and we actually have a third neighborhood, which is Halsey Village, all a part of the James Street Historic District. And so some of you might have been there for the last three years where we've had block parties, where we brought everyone out, and we've tried to create this eclectic vibe, which we are here. So you see, these are various components of community brand various elements of a community brand that has various different voices but all singing out for the same narrative. And that narrative is Newark is where I work. Can I say it with you? With me? <laughs> Newark is where, where I work. Where and Newark, Newark is where, where I, I live. live. Absolutely. I love my neighborhood. This is a great neighborhood. And you are witnessing, seeing the beginning of our branding. I love her. Thank you.